David, you've got two Irish guys in the team this year. Um, what do you see as being their targets? Um, uh, Connor, Connor obviously remains from uh, our 2013 squad. Uh, Matt, we're very happy to, to bring into the team. Um, and, and obviously for the, yes, we'll, we'll ride for sure the Ross uh, in, in May. And to have the, 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 national, the national elite champion, it's, it's, it's nice for own post and, and the organisers of the Ross. So uh, whilst M Matt might hate being chased around Ireland, uh, for for a week, uh, it's it's it'd be nice to see him uh, nick a stage or whatever wearing the the, the Irish national champions jersey. But um, Connor Connor performed really well in two thousand thirteen um, when it, when he was needed to do uh, say for example toward Azerbaijan uh, where he took the mountains classification and he was he he impressed um, left right and centre. So yeah. Uh, Organising a team, you have different personalities. So uh, the Irish guys uh, tend to, um, you know, be upbeat, positive people. So it's nice to fit them into into the, the scenario. And uh, yeah, the only race, unfortunately, we have at home is the, the Ross, uh, which both uh, Matt and Connor will be automatically on the start list unless they're sick or injured. And then the national championships. Um, it, it'd be nice. Um, I, I was there this year, and uh, unfortunately Connor didn't participate. Uh, he was injured. But uh, it'd be nice to see Matt and Connor work st strategically together to make sure that they they beat the likes of Dan or Nico or whoever's uh, whoever's there. It'd be nice to. So yeah, on a personal level, I'm, I'm looking forward to the national championships as well as as well as the Ross to see how those guys uh, perform. Connor went very close to the overall in the Ross last year. You think that's going to be a a big target for him to try and take the final yellow jersey this time around? Yeah, unfortunately for the, the Irish professionals, the Ross is a, it's something that you, you need to win to have on your CV. If you look at McCann, McCann has won it. Uh, Connor was unlucky, but if you look at his progression, he'd finished third overall before and he's now second overall. So the next uh, uh, logical step is, is first overall. So, But he, he rode a very good Ross. He was... Yes, he was unfortunate to lose just by a second, um, but there was nothing that you could have asked uh, more from. He rode very, very clever, and uh, yeah. So we'll see, we'll see how we go in 2014. What do you think his long-term potential is? He's still quite young, and he really, you know, I think 2013 showed a hint of what he can do. Uh, Connor in the right environment, um, uh, with the right coaching structure and the right uh, team um, team program, can can really benefit Connor. Uh, uh, Connor is still young, but yet it seems like he's been around forever. Uh, Connor, I think tw 24, 25, not even 25, I think he's 24 perhaps. So we got something out of him uh, uh, in 2013. He progressed as a rider. Uh, he, he was unfortunate to crash uh, in June when he was um, really coming into some good form. He missed the national championships as a result, and perhaps uh, that affected him for uh, it. He was selected for the world championships. But it would definitely be nice to see um, Connor move on to a bigger team. But as I've said before, this team is, is going to be a bigger team. So perhaps he stays in the same structure with us and, and progresses uh, as a professional bike rider.